So that'd be cool to build an image too to like um, look at what kind floor. of floors we want. We should go to Ikea. Oh, we should go to Ikea today. Okay, we can do that. Should do that. Let's do my intro together. Welcome, Welcome back to another video. Let's go. Universe, universe, universe today. We got banger, banger, banger. <laughs> today is a new day. We got a banger, banger, banger. <laughs> All right, guys. Today we going to a breakfast spot, so we gonna take y'all with us. Um, my hair is still in the same place as uh, y'all saw it last video. Why is there a? What the heck is this? There's a metal thing in your hair. Yeah, it's a bobby pin. Oh, I'm so confused for a second. I'm gonna but take it to this one breakfast spot that that's like that uh that they have like cool like cool stuff cool things basically. It's like a Mexican place, but they have cool things. What do you mean cool things? Like 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 it's trendy. Like fruit. yeah, like it's exactly trendy. it's trendy. Newish, newish vibe to it, you know. Yes, today's our rest day. Today's our Sabbath, so we usually just chill. We slept in until 3 p.m. Yeah, we did. We and went to bed at midnight. Well, she went to bed at midnight. I went to bed like at six in the morning. That's not fair. Yeah, I was literally saying that watching the whole show. <laughs> I, I wanted to finish the show because that's the best your problem. You want to finish them too fast. Yes. You gotta pace yourself. Yes, I young do grasshopper. That. Like I literally just then you'll run through the whole shows. Day. No, I usually only watch shows when I'm doing something that doesn't need all my attention, like laundry or I'm eating. See, that's why we two different people. Yeah, I know. I know my limits. Like I killed that show. Like literally. Yeah, he because he like, wants to finish. Yes. He doesn't want to watch them anymore, so he wants to finish them. Yeah. And he'll just spend a whole day so he can finish. Yeah, because the thing about I hate about starting a show is because of that reason. Unless like it's a blacklist, which each episode has its own thing, versus oh, like. like it's not connected. Like it's kind of connected, right? It's good. Yeah. My car. Uh, it's good, but it's not as too attaching to the next like episode yeah, as a like whole entire thing. Yeah, it's almost like Criminal Minds. You try it first. No. Because I always get Chipotle thinking it'll taste like sriracha, then when I taste it, that ain't it. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah, I'm kind of ready. Mm -hmm. It does taste like sriracha yours. Hey. Now it's time for you to try this. I'm trying it already. I ain't talking to you. Some sauce over I ain't talking to you. Come here. You. I know you watching me, sitting down. Come here. Open. Ah. Ah. Good job. Good job. We should make something like that at home. Here, I'll give you some of the red sauce. What? I'm tired of these things. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, are you Spartacus now? <laughs> I'm a thug. I'm a real thug. You ain't no thug. You're a clown. I'll shank you, boo. You a, oh, thank you. You're a clown with, with some fork. You're gonna shank me with a butter knife? It's a knife in With here. a plastic knife? Come on, man. Where do you think I'm from? Bet. Yeah. Keep it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Hold them. Hold them. I'll hold you guys. Take care of you. Alright, guys. You better go to Ikea. You better go to Ikea. You find this in our verse family. So go subscribe to our verse family to find to find out what we got. Yee. Yee. All right, guys, a little bit update about what's going on. And I didn't say intro in the beginning of this video. So what I'm going to do right now for y'all is intro. Intro. Alright guys, a little update on life. Uh, recently, we started fasting. Not, Yeah, in a way of fasting. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Daniel Fast, but it's, it is about basically where you just eat vegetables. Vegetarian, basically. That's the Daniel Fast. So, we started that about four days ago at the beginning of this month. 
for our like monthly consecration that we usually do uh, for the verse, the family, the verse family. Uh, not for the channel, but for this family. We do this every month. The reason I'm saying that is because I'm doing basically a body transformation of 21 days also. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of almost like muscle maintaining while I'm losing weight and also building up my, what do they call it, like abdominal, whatever, like abs basically. I don't know what abs stand for, like abdominal something. I don't know, I forgot. What, it, what they say it is. So I'm gonna update you guys on those. I'm doing, like I said, a 21 day transformation for that, for that reason. So if you guys wanna start with me, you guys can go ahead and start right now. And basically, I'm gonna update you guys on every video I try to post. I'm gonna, if I remember it, I'll try to update it. And also, I'm doing a whole video on it. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a banger. Dreadlock color is kinda changing because of the sun. You guys can see like the greenish uh, in the back, like especially at the tip of it. It's kind of changing that uh, tone. I can dye it again with the same color, but I haven't really decided anything yet for the color. Um, but of course, you guys seen the retwist, you guys seen uh, my hair. What I'm gonna do actually is, I'm gonna cut this really, basically like last time, a bald high taper because it lasted very long uh, than what I had usually like, I usually get like a drop fade or something like that. And those don't last long, but this one lasted a long time actually. It still looks pretty clean. I just gotta line it up. I usually just line it up and you know, call it a day, but uh, I'm thinking about just, doing the same thing that I did last time. Besides that, I actually thought about putting my hair uh, on eBay and see <laughs> and seeing if people will buy it. I know it's a crazy idea. I'm just trying to see if people will bid on it or something like that. That'd be funny. Yeah, we are moving out. A little update on our house, we moving out. So we got boxes right here, ready to pack our stuff. We going to a new apartment, a new place. Uh, I'm excited for it, but I'm kind of tired of moving too. For those of you guys that seen this, it's been a miracle worker. I've, I've sat a lot of people right there and transformed their whole career and lifestyle <laughs> with that and yeah I'm getting rid of that I already got rid of the desk that's why I'm not even sitting down I hate the fact that I sold that pretty early because we still got about 15 days still got the couch and everything we still got that I'm trying to find different aspects of my life to show to you guys uh, like personal life like I said transformation the consecration that I'm telling you guys about kind of almost like cleansing my body uh, and my mind the 21 day basically clearing my mind getting it off of like social media off of uh, Netflix whatever like TV shows whatever it may be just getting rid of things that can limit my mind to where I can't get to the next level on spiritual things on my business on my personal life which are the three things that I have goals for every day basically a little bit about me you know what I'm saying uh, like I said I'm, as I'm switching up a lot of the flows I'm probably gonna give you guys a lot of more details about what I do in my personal life uh, for those that want to that are interested in it basically because you guys said y'all interested so I'm giving y'all what y'all want you know what I'm saying back to the three things that I do daily is the personal goal I have business goal and I have spiritual goals and they all consist of three things to accomplish throughout the day something that is set above and beyond almost so of course I pray every day of course I read the Word of God every day but there's sometimes that I slack and I let some days slip by and so these things will help me get accountable for it because if I set it out if I put it on my calendar or on my schedule I have to do it so if I see myself slacking and reading a book because I read a book every day I try to read a book every day uh, so if I see myself slacking with that guess what I do I actually put it in the to-do list for my daily goals uh, to read so it's a it's a way of keeping myself accountable also after that what I do is I summarize the whole week and I'll put a percentage of my accomplishment and so the first week I started actually was like I made 50% on an accomplishment so I didn't do half of the things I set out to do which is very which is very terrible in a way that's a that's a F like that's that's an F in class grading right but I don't judge myself just off of this one thing what I do is I keep on going and try to get better on the next week but so the next week I went from 50% to 54% still an F you know what I'm saying still an F man but guess what I made four more percent better I got four more percent better you know what I'm saying and then the week after I was able to get 85% man 
that is that sh that 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 shows you that whenever I start taking it seriously and I start saying, man, 50%, like, are you serious? Like, I'm way better than that. You know what I'm saying? Like in school, they grade you off of things that you probably hate doing. Like school, you probably hate uh, going to school and you know doing school and stuff like that. Maybe your passion is not that. Uh, some people they're passionate like that. My wife, for example, it's a verse. She loves school, so she will love going to school and doing those things and getting graded by it. She always gets A's, and so. For me, me grading myself in this level, I think it shows me that, okay, this is what I love to do. I love to do spiritual things. I love to do uh, business, you know what I'm saying? The businesses that I have. I love accomplishing the myself personal goals. So personal goals can be something like working out, waking up early. It could be a lot more like, you know what I'm saying? It's not just one thing every day. Like I have to do this every day type of thing. It's not that I make different plans for diff every like every day because my because my days are different than anybody else. Because a lot of people are like going to, going to work nine to five, come back home, you know, whatever. Mine is, I set out my, uh, since I'm self-employed, I set out my goals, I set out where I go, I set out my days, and so to have this type of goals and to kind of grade graded by it, but for the things that I like and I'm getting like a F, like a 50%, it's pretty terrible, you know what I'm saying? So for those of you guys that are uh, wanting to accomplish things in your life, set out a daily goal, uh, and this is where I learned from uh, uh, my pastor and also my, he's also basically my mentor uh, as he does business classes and he does like things uh, to help not just the church but us and my and our business walks he had said like he writes down every day what to do the next day what to accomplish like basically planning the next day because a lot of people the problem with it is they have big goals and I suffered in this too I had big goals but I didn't have small goals to get to the big goal and basically that's what this does so hope you guys get some knowledge off of this so you guys can start y'all three y'all goals every day and you can start with just one one spiritual goal one personal goal one business goal and then it can transition to three for each of them because that's what i do these are some things that i do um for those that purchase the gold uh jewelry i appreciate you guys so much i will have a new availability for those and for those of you guys that were able to purchase it please take some crispy pictures and send it to me so i can shout you guys out and also in the future be uh, be able to get you guys on the website and on the pages as a review for those that missed out on the first launch i will be able to get more for you guys uh, i'm just not deciding to get it right now because like i said i'm moving to the next place with all that being said i'm gonna tell you guys why not to cut your hair so short in the front. A lot of people start off pretty good with their dreads in the beginning stage because of course they haven't had it for a long time and, and the fact that you know it grows with the hairline and basically they're able to line it up. But after a while what starts to happen is the dreadlocks gets longer and they end up having to pull the dreadlocks back and pull some hair down so that they can line it up. And I'm telling you guys not to do that for a reason. I struggled with basically having to cut a lot of my hair in the front and missing a lot of my hair in the front ended up with a result of having a big forehead. I'm brushing your hair down, thinking that, oh, I'm about to get like a crispy lineup or your barber may be even doing that. So you're like, oh yeah, go ahead and do that. And end up having basically a really, really, really big space, a really big space in between your dreads and the front of your line. That happens because a little small hairs get pulled down as they brush it to get you that crispy lineup that you're looking for and basically line it up. So mine looks lighter right here because I ended up pulling the actual dreads in uh, my hair and connecting it to the dreads that is already set because of course I like it darker but at the same time the more I'm pulling down from here the more I was able to climb up all the way like to be honest with you it was like up here before it was all the way up here like literally up here before I made the correction and you guys seen it in the previous videos uh, when that happened let me plug in this light so you guys can see on this side too and you guys can see it on this side also how I was brushing it down and not instead of instead of connecting it to the old dreads I brushed it down and I lined it up to get it darker but it ended up making it worse and it ended up actually not looking good so right now I don't have any lineups or anything like that that's why it looks pretty rough it looks way better like this versus you brushing it down to where your hairline literally starts up here of course this is darker of course it looks good of course you get a crispy lineup but the more you do it the more you climb up on the dreads and here are some pictures that you can see people that end up having a really bad front line or a really bad hair in the front because they kept on pulling it down so check this out 
as you guys can see like they're they look like their dread starts right here like literally right here and for you to do that it may look good in the beginning like i said if you're starting out with your dreadlocks and like your journey it may look good it may look like oh that's what i wanted because that's what everybody does with their dreads but later on it ends up getting worse and worse and trust me like it doesn't it doesn't stop right there it's going to keep going bad like the more you brush it the more you're trying to pull down some hair to get a crispy line up the more you're going to mess it up and ha end up having basically a a wave in the front and then a dread in the back i've seen somebody i think like a youtuber or something that does a wave in the front and a dread in the back it may look crispy like if that's what you're going for go for that man i will not stop you i would not say don't do it or anything like that but i'm actually telling you that if you guys keep doing that you guys are gonna end up having a really terrible 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 front line and terrible looks to the front like mine is in the repair mode right now because of that I repaired it once I got it uh, retwisted. Now it's time for me to figure out where I need my uh, my hairline to end up and what hair that I need to pull down uh, to do this hairline. And I prefer the baby hairs to be the hairline. I don't care if it's not dark. I have used enhancements and stuff like that that can help out with it. I don't want my hair to be all the way up here. And the other thing is stretching your dreadlocks. Mine is not stressed. My hair is not tight at all. I've had some stressed, some stretched, stressed braids before. Uh, and does not feel that way like I hated that braid that I had even though it looked good It was painful. It was so painful, and I'm not doing that ever again This don't look like this looks like oh, it was really tight, bro You pulling your dreads back your front lines gonna go back. No, that's not true That's not really true it matters how you pull your hair and what kind of stuff that you use to actually get this locked up so the one that she used is pretty natural the gel that she used is pretty natural and also is made for uh, it's not made to have buildup almost like a clear water gel thing so it's not gonna give you buildup much of course it's gonna be a little bit buildup but not much and also she didn't pull it down so like so much to where it's hurting my brain because it's not the next video I'm gonna I'm show you guys the details of the the inside and what it looks like and also the dandruff things that I'm dealing with as it gets to the next video so stay tuned for that I'm trying to be as much transparent as I can so that you guys can enjoy this whole videos and also I can kind of don't stick with just dreadlocks but I can show you guys vlogs and what happens in my life thank you guys for watching this video check out the previous video but till next time keep acting diverse and creating your universe I'm Activerse stay tuned you dig